welcome! In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can loop through a list of URLs using Parsub. To begin, open the Parsub client, click on New Project and enter any URL. In this case, we're going to enter the home page of the website we would like to scrape links from. For this example, we'll be using icobench.com. Click on Start Project on this URL. There are three areas on your Parsub project. On the left hand side is where you have your commands and settings. In the middle is the interactive view of the website. And at the very bottom is where you'll be able to preview your data once you start to select elements. In this example, there are several links on this website that I want to loop through instead of clicking into those links on the website. I can import these links from the Settings tab on my project. The setting tabs contains a starting value area. Here you have two options. If you're familiar with JSON, you can paste a JSON list into this box. However, if you're not, you can import from a CSV or Excel file. In this case, I have a CSV file that I created earlier. The CSV file has one column, named URLs, and in each of the rows below, it has a link to a different ICO on the website. If I return to Parsub and click on Import from CSV JSON, I can choose this file and open it up. It will load in the JSON list in the starting value box, and in the preview I can see the CSV Excel version of my list of URLs, or the JSON version. I can return to my Commands tab to create a loop that will go to each of these URLs in turn. To do this, I'll click on the plus sign next to Select Page, go to Advanced, and choose a loop command. Loop commands allow me to loop through elements in a list. In this case, my list is called URLs as that's the name of the list in my header. This command says that for each item in my URLs, I'm going to take the actions that appear below the command. The first action is to click on the plus sign next to for each item in URLs, go to Advanced, and choose a Begin New Entry command. Begin New Entry will ensure that for each of the items in my list, a new entry is created. This is a new row in my CSV file or a new scope in my JSON. I can call this list anything other than URLs, for example, links. If I want to extract the URL that I'm visiting, I can click on the plus sign next to begin your entry in links, go to advance, and choose an extract command. I can call this link, for example, and just below where it says dollar sign location href, I can delete this and say item. So far, our project loops through each item in our URL list, and for each one, it starts a new entry in the list links and extracts that URL, or the current item. To visit the URL, I can click on the plus sign next to begin new entry in links, go to advanced, and choose a go to template command. The first thing I'll do on this pop-up is say that I want to go to the URL item, since that is the current item in my list. I will also create a new template that will extract the data on that particular page. We can call this details, for example. Click on create new template. Parsub has automatically opened the first URL and created a new details template. On this template, I can choose a new select command for each element that I want to extract on the page. For example, click on the plus sign next to select page, choose select, and then choose the rating, which I can call rating. Click on the plus sign next to select page, choose a select command, and choose the ICO profile rating, which I can call ICO profile. Click on the plus sign next to select page, choose a select command, and choose the team rating, which I can call team, and so on. I can continue to do this for the other two ratings, in this case, vision and product. In the preview pane, Parsub is originally going to show the same ratings for all of the different URLs. However, once we run or test from the project, it should start to populate the right ratings for each URL. We can test this by clicking on Get Data, going into Test Run, and opening a test run. Test runs allow us to run the project on our computer so that we can verify that it's behaving as expected. There are three different options. You can step in and go through each command step by step. You can press play to have it go through each command automatically, or you can quickly play to go through it a lot faster. In this case, we're going to click on the play button. I'm going to expand the preview so that you can see what's going on. 
what it's doing is it's going for each item, starting a new entry, extracting the link, which should add to the preview below now, and then going to the details template and starting to get the ratings for this particular link, which it will start populating one by one. You can see it's adding the rating, the ICO profile, the team, vision, and product. Once it's done with the first link, it will return to our loop and do this for the second link and start populating those values below as well. You can now see, once this loads, that the ratings are different for each of the different URLs. Parsib will continue to do this for each of the links in our list. To get the actual data, we can stop our test run, click on Get Data, and go to Run, and then Save and Run. Parsib will start running the project on our servers, and once it's finished, you'll have the option to download your data in CSV or JSON. In this tutorial, I've demonstrated how you can loop through a list of URLs using Parsib. You'll find plenty of other tutorials on our website by going to help.parsub.com. If you have any trouble with your own project, you can always contact us at hello.parsub.com or through the chat icon that appears on the bottom right-hand corner of parsub.com or your client. Happy parsing!